hello. How about a holler? Ha. Huh? Yeah. I have another one. But then I'm addicted. But I had like $9 off. $9 in credits. And so I placed this order and there were some things I actually kind of needed or wanted to stock up on. First one's kind of boring. The Lysol antibacterial. But it was 2 bucks, And yeah. I used the other one I got last week and it worked very very well mm. let's see what else I got got another one of these four bucks I tell you what it is so comfortable like the other one we got I know I said I was going to put it in the gift box but I slept with it like three nights in a row so now it's mine it's my blankie yipper so we had a traveling day today. I tell you what, we went to Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and it's still not even four o'clock yet. We got up early and we had to do some work and I'm just bushed. Now I slept really well last night. Maybe I slept too. Can you sleep too hard? I don't know, my mom used to say that. Well, you just slept too hard. I don't know. So anyhow, I also got these plates. They were a buck. Um, we are going to be having a picnic this Sunday at the park for Wyatt's birthday. We won't be able to go to Wyatt's actual birthday party. His birthday's on the 26th, and so we're just having a little fun time. However, I am doing the gift bags for Wyatt. And he's having a Mickey Mouse theme. So, like I have little straws. Hold on, I'll show you. Little straws I got at the Dollar Tree I'm putting in there. And I already hauled these, but they're the little Mickey Mouse ears that are going in there. I have some pretzel, little tiny pretzel packs, because they're two-year-olds. Some little tiny pretzel packs I'm putting in there, and I'm going to make um, a little top uh, with some Mickey Mouse scrap paper, but I was trying to find something else that would be cute in a Mickey Mouse theme, and I found these at Holler, and they're the Mickey Mouse Racer inflatable beach balls. So, yeah, those will go in the gift bags for all the kiddos at the birthday party. I really hate I'm missing it, but we're going to go to our nephew's graduation and that'll be really fun. So then I got three of these. They will be stocking stuffers except one is mine. Yes, please. She lights up. Whoop! Didn't mean to blind you like that. We all know what green M&Ms are about, don't we? Has that changed? Like back in the 70s, I was really into M&M's. I had a cat named M&M. People would travel and buy me M&M t-shirts. A friend of mine painted an M&M portrait for me. Just this giant M&M. And um, another friend <laughs> took a hollow chocolate bunny and melted a little place on the bottom and stuffed it with M&M's and gave it to me. Yeah, I loved M&M's. So anyhow, um, we used to say that the green M&M's meant love. So I don't know. I'm going to keep one on one of my bags. Because they're just way too cute. They have red ones too. Do you know that in 1975, green M&M's were taken out of the bag because of red dye number whatever, whatever? Thankfully, they're back. It was a travesty, I tell you. A grave day for this girl in 1975. I remember, I think I wrote a letter to the company. So anyhow, because I've been going to the gym religiously three times a week, I got this for my water. Look at the flip-flops. Take a moment. Kind of digging flip-flops this year. So anyhow, this is going to be my water bottle. And it's wide enough I can put ice in. That's always a big thing for me is having a water bottle. That is big enough for uh, then sippy sippy. Big enough for ice. Yeah. 
I got that. Then <laughs> we have a weed eater. I have a husband. <laughs> But this is actually for my fairy garden, so I can trim around the fairy garden. Because it's looking pretty rough these days, I tell ya. Pretty rough. Something needs to be done. Okay, I got these straws because they were cute. I think they were 50 cents. But, um, yeah, I use straws to drink out of every day. I don't know why. I'm not a glass snob or anything, but... That's how I roll. Okay, then I can't believe I only got one of these. Maybe I got another one coming in another box. But it's the Inky Dinky Doo. And I have a lot of stamps, but I don't have very many inks. And so I was real pleased to get this. And I think it was like a dollar. Um, and I know the last time I bought an Inky Doo, it was like five dollars. So I was real glad about that. I got these cute little ladybug napkins that'll be real cute for some of our summer thingies that we've got going on around here if we ever get to the picnic area. Yeah. And I got two of these. They are the albums made easy. And I want to take one out and show it to you because I was really impressed with these. I I could be creative in some things. And in other things, mm, not so much. But these little puppies were three bucks. And they came with these beautiful sheets. Look at there. Can you see that? Am I not doing well here? All these beautiful sheets. See that? Hello, sunshine. Nobody ever says that to me because I am not a sunshine in the morning. This morning, I had to get up early to go because we had to be in Winston-Salem, Greensboro by 9. And so, it took us a while to get ready and get things going. And I had poured myself a cup of tea in a travel mug. And I forgot it at the house when we left. And I'm like, <gasps> no caffeine, what am I going to do? So we drove for about an hour, and I'm just sitting there going, Ehh. So finally, Chris pulled into a Chick-fil-A and got me a sweet tea, because he knows, he knows that that has to be in my system. So anyhow, here's some more of these little prints and colors and yada yadas. Look at that. But wait, there's more. It also comes with these really cool stickers that's kind of blinding, I know. Look at there. Oh, happy day. Um, best day ever. Yes. Me and you. So anyhow, I got two of those little booklets. Oh, here's like a... Look at that. An anchor stand and... The spellum. I want to have fun with this, hopefully. I want to do some documentation of our trip this past weekend, or the two weekends ago. So I got two of them, because you never know what I want to do with them. I might want to just let it sit on my shelf for long periods of time, and look at it feeling guilty that I haven't done anything with it. Because that happens. So these are 10 things I love about my family, and these are just little sticker things that you pull them out and you write 10 things on them. And I got two of them because I'm sure there's more than 10 things I love about my family that I want to scrapbook about. Um, journaling has never been more fun. Our 10 things pockets are the ideal way to showcase your special notes and thoughts. So you put this on a page and then you write your things on there. That'll be great. This isn't a real fluid holler haul, is it? Because I started off the day without my caffeine. I had to wait an hour. I'm still on lag. Okay, and I got these vintage craft stickers. They're the sewing ones. Love it. And then I got these travel ones. And I thought they would go very well with the book that I want 
to do up with some of our pictures. I have to get the pictures from Vika. She's the one who took the most pictures. I probably did not take any pictures. I took maybe three pictures our whole trip. Just relaxed and had fun. So anyhow, that's my holler haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Be our friends. And M I C. See you real soon. K E Y. Why? Because we like you. M O U S E.